In this lesson, we're going to continue discussing editing and customizing tables. If you'd like to follow along, go under your file menu to open, and in the Working Files folder, go into Chapter Number 11 and select Editing Tables Part 2, and just click Open. If you remember back a couple of lessons, you remember when we brought in a table from Excel, I said there was going to be a good amount of editing. Well, that's what we're going to do in this lesson. If you go above the extra column to the right that doesn't have anything in it, and just click and drag across both of those empty columns. And now go under your table menu to delete column. We also have a lot of extra rows. If I go to the far left side of my table, I'll get that arrow that points back to my table. If I click, I'll select an entire row, and I'm just going to click and drag all the way down. Now I'm going to go under my table menu again and go to Delete Row. Now, why don't we zoom in to the table to better see what's going on. I'm just going to go to my Zoom tool and click and drag across the entire width of the page. Now, I'd also like my rows to be a lot deeper. Looks like the type is really squished in there. So I'm going to go to the upper left-hand corner of my table and just click when I see that diagonal arrow pointing down towards the table. And in the control panel for the row height, where it says at least, if I go immediately to the right, of the at least button, I'm going to type in 0.5 for 0.5 inches and just hit enter or return. Now, I'd also like this top row to eventually become my header. So I'm going to go to the left side of it and when I see the arrow pointing in towards that row, I'm going to click to select the entire row. And I'm going to go under my table menu to something called merge cells. So now I have one big cell. Also, my type seems to be towards the top of each cell. Let me select my entire table again. And instead of aligning the type to the top, I want to center it top to bottom within the cell. So I'm going to click Align Center. I also want to center all of this type left to right within the cells. So I'm going to go to my paragraph formatting and go to Align Center. And now all of my type is centered perfectly in the cells. The next thing I'm noticing is that this text that says all dates are class start dates, it's kind of misplaced as to where it ended up in the table. I really want to create another column over here where I can put that type in sideways. So. I'm going to click in any one of my cells in that left-hand column. And I'm going to go under my table menu to insert column. So because I have an insert point in my left column, it will add an additional column. And I'm going to make it to the left of my selected column. And I just want one. So I'm going to click OK. And now I have the extra column. But I want to make this entire column one big cell. So I'm going to select that whole column, go to my table menu, and go to Merge Cells. Now, if you have drag and drop text editing turned on in your preferences, you can simply select all the text in that one cell and just click and drag it into the other cell. If you don't have drag and drop text editing turned on in the type section of your preferences, you can just select the type, copy it, delete it, and paste it into that first column. Now, the type is facing the wrong direction. I really want it to be so that the top of the type is towards the left. And if I select that entire cell, you'll see that I now have these different T's with different rotations, these capital T's. 
I want this one. It's the last of the rotations to the right. And I'm going to click on that and it rotates my type 270 degrees. And I'm going to want to break this into two lines. So I'm going to hit Shift, Enter, or Shift, Return. This cell is obviously way too big. But what I can do is go over the top of any dividing line, any of these strokes that is dividing the table up into cells. And you'll see I get these double arrows. And if I click and drag, it is not only shortening up that one column, it's bringing all of the other columns along for the ride. So the whole table is getting much narrower. But I also want to do this. I can close up this next column. And, well, why don't we let InDesign do the rest? What I'm going to do is go over to the right-hand side of the table and just click and drag until it snaps right to the margin. Now, I don't want uneven columns. So what I'm going to do is select all of these columns at once and let InDesign make them equal by going to Table, Distribute Columns Evenly. Okay, well that's looking a lot better. I only see one problem. This is an unnecessary row. So I am going to click and drag across this entire row and just go to Table, Delete row. And so that is the major editing of a table that came in from Excel to make it usable in a layout. And of course, from here, I would do some type formatting. I might add some color to this to make it really an attractive table. In the next lesson, we're going to begin discussing graphics.